But I'm gonna get something else new to try, see if we can figure out make a little bit of ground in other places. Could cut a land, but decided to we'll see how that works. See if we want to or not. Competitive modern five match league. There's just not as much like um there's not as much like really four color shadow forest, yes. There just aren't as many matchups where a card like Lily of the Veil dominates anymore. The metagame just changed. The metagame full of Mantis Riders and Noble Hierarchs and Bloodbraid Elves. Liliana is just not the card that she used to be. So we're gonna give something we're gonna try something new. God, Nightbot is still tweaking out. Feel bad for you, Nightbot. Make sure everything else everything else is working here. <clears throat> I got these new sweet sleeves from Card Hoarder today. Got them on. Being part of the the network. Got some swag, which was awesome. Alright, I'm on the play. Uh it's alright. We're gonna keep it. Probably this might be an overgrown tomb traverse hand. Hopefully we hit a um hopefully we hit something like a gosh, I can't think. A fetch land off the top here. I really don't want to have to traverse for a forest. Or traverse for a basic land. <clears throat> okay. So we can deal with this. We're gonna take this Utopia Sprawl. And then I'll push the Arbor Elf. This is a solid matchup. We're gonna need another land or two, but we should be in pretty good shape. Having two Inferno Titans is not ideal. Give me a fetch land, yeah. All right, so we're gonna get here, we're gonna get Watery Grave. Get this out of here. And get our shadow, this is the play. And then we can go, we can go fetch for our red land. Oh yeah, this game's over. This is just, it's all over but the crying now. And now we just nug them, counter every spell they have. It could get a little rough. This Bloodbright Elf could get them back into it, but. Oh, they don't even have a land. Oh, yeah. Take seven. Next turn, Battle Rage. Yep. Okay, so against this deck, uh, I want my pulse, the delays. I just want all these. I'm not in love. So on the draw, probably cut a push. Because we're gonna have more answers to Blood Moon. My opponent's gonna have some graveyard hate, so we'll cut a traverse. Probably don't need this pulse. We'll look to counter the Chandras and such. I'll just get rid of another traverse. They're gonna bring in some relics, so there's no sense in going going full low, full bore on that. Yeah, we'll keep this hand. This hand's soft to a turn two moon, but we're gonna have two discards. Oh wow, they don't have it. Okay. All right, we're just gonna fetch our basic here. <coughs> This is a game that you easily can win with Tarmogoyf because you get like weird permanents in the graveyard. Take the tracker. Did probably take the P and K. They want to stone rain me, they can stone rain me. Punished for our sequencing.
Yeah, I think we're just gonna get rid of this. And then Inquisition with Stone Rain. I guess I could have not played around Blood Moon very well here, actually. Do I want to go the Stone Rain? No, I, my Death Shadow is not. My Death Shadows wouldn't be big enough. Excuse me. I can't add. Now we're going to play a cute little 1 1. Oh, this primal command's annoying. That's also annoying. I'm just gonna play into this. It's gonna give me one step closer to delirium. <coughs> then if I draw a bobble, then I'm online. No, not going to Seattle, Squat Chief. <clears throat> No, I got an IQ uh, this weekend. You're out west, aren't you? Are you going to play? All right, Grim Flare is a good one. Primal Command is going to be kind of annoying, but hopefully maybe they mess on a land drop, and then we can hit him with our boy. Looks like our boy's going to get in there. Problem is that this Primal Command is going to like mess with me. All right, so I'm just going to hit. I'm going to hit first with Grim Flare, and if there's a card I really want, I'm going to draw it. And then if there isn't, I'm just going to Traverse. Oh, I want that Tarmogoyf, so I can go. Yeah, I don't really want any of these cards. I do want this one. I actually don't even have Delirium. Basic Forest is like... It's all right. I'm not super pumped about Basic Forest. You seem like a Grixis Delver kind of guy, Squad Chief. Unfortunately, that was probably our only real, a real effective window to get Delirium. Gross. So I probably hit my red source. Yep. Tail. All right, so I'm actually just gonna hit with this, both of these. If they block my Tarmogoyf, then I get a trigger. If they don't, I crack them for four. I have red, white, death, and taxes. Hmm, that doesn't line up with, at least once you play it modern, but Legacy is also like expensive. <coughs> I probably shouldn't have played that. Yeah, it's all I own. Just started playing Legacy with Foro last night. Now the red white, that's what like that deck's like a dire fleet daredevil deck, right? Relic, tilt. We're probably in trouble now. This is kinda loose. I like mono store. I play like mono store and modern now. Oh, okay. You play Jund in the Mox. And then you play like Death Shadow that time I watched you. Okay, so I actually can just attack into this. And if my opponent cycles their primal command. Well, so I can just attack into this. If my opponent like blocks and then cycles this, I can go fetch Battle Rage. And then get it. So hopefully they block. They're probably not going to. Wow. All right, I'll take it. Oh, no, they're just going to do it after combat. Yeah. That was stupid. That was stupid. We should have played Storm. Yeah, this was. I, I wasn't thinking about how this would work, work out here. They're just going to pass. I always forget about, like, whenever I'm not super paying attention, I always forget about this. They just block and then pop the relic and Tarmogoyf dies. Like, I always forget about that. <coughs> oh, 
That's one of those things where I gotta be on it. And wasn't on it there. Types to watch. Yeah, I mean, people like watching Jund. People like watching Jund. They like watching Abzan. They like watching all those fair decks. Or just like people like watching bad decks, man. Like whenever whenever I post like Jund videos on my YouTube page, I get like Mondo views on those. We're probably dead. No, we're not dead. Should have fetched those. This primal command is probably gonna find like something else for my opponent. I should be like paying more attention, but this game's kind of been like disgusting. Feel like a bit of a throwaway. <coughs> For what? Well, that means you're making money, my friend. Um, I'm gonna hit this now. Oh shoot! They hit my red source. I have a blood crypt. Oh, they smoked my blood crypt. All right. Well, I'm, it's fake news. I'm not gonna hit it. Oh, I gotta get back into it. I like storm a lot. I think it's. I think it's cool. Yeah, we're really just like. Dead as a doorknob. Yep. Even though you do you see Jabberwocky's uh, tweet from the mock squaw? Storm and Jun got slaughtered. I don't think I want anything else here. I need to pay attention in this last game. I should be on the play, so I should be alright, but I mean I am on the play, so I'll be alright, but <coughs> yeah, Storm and Jun got absolutely murked at the Mox. All right. Probably fetching Basic Swamp and we're taking Target Relic of Progenitus. Because we have an answer to Blood Moon. We want to get this. We want to make sure this Tarmogoyf is Grande. Wow, okay. All right. Why can you, you can't keep the hands like this. Like, what are you doing? All right. That's gas. All right, I don't think I'm proud of this, but I think I'm actually gonna just abrupt decay this. <laughs> Let me see what, I, let me cycle a card. Now I'm just gonna play Grim Flare. <coughs> Brim Flare is going to find me what I need. Okay, I'm going to want a Death Shadow. All right. <coughs> yeah, Traverse is, this is my favorite deck and I think it's still pretty good. I think it's just like, I think we gotta start killing off some sacred cows, like, all right, um, it's kind of annoying, but whatever. Like the, uh, I, I think that there's a chance the Lilianas have to go. Oh, I should have done that. I should have, I should have waited till after I uh, no, because I wanted to pump my guitar away one more turn, one more, one more time. So we're looking for just like counter spells now. Thoughtseize is pretty good. So I think we're just gonna ditch these, then hit the Thoughtseize because the Thoughtseize will trade with one of my creatures. Stone rain me. So we're gonna get this acidic slime out of here. Ooh, okay. Alright. So I'm still gonna be able to attack with both of these. Let's see what they have going on. Oh, their draw has just been atrocious. I mean they kinda did it to themselves.
Um, I guess it doesn't really matter if they block this. And they're dead to both creatures next turn. So they need, like, P and K or bust. Oh, no, never mind. They're, they're at 13 life. I'm the one at 9. Whatever. I got a snap to it. I streamed for five hours this morning, so I'm a little... <clears throat> that's usually a little bit outside of my range. But I was lucky that we got a, we got a nice little warm-up match there. I'm actually going to go get some coffee while this thing gets ready. <coughs> Not some coffee, some water. Where's my water bottle? Right here. Billy, I'm going to feed you after my third match. You know, this sick card hoarder water bottle. He sent me that. Oh, we're playing against the old Jessup. I think this is Andrew. I'm going to log in my head. He's probably playing Grix's Shadow. We made our deck a little worse against Grix's Shadow. Yeah. I was just talking about when we started playing here that the Grixis Shadow, we made Grixis, oh, what is this? An Aaron Mesa? What is that? Oh, she's playing Hollow One, okay. All right. Lightning Bolt. I probably should like mine my life total. So if I get Swamp, and then this gets Stomping Ground, I'm able to cast everything. God, how do I win? <clears throat> So if I take his Gurmag Angler, he collected Brutalities away my Terminate, which is like kind of fine. One, two, three. So he's going to have one, two, three, four, five. So he taps out. So I can actually just take this Brutality and he'll have to... So it's either take the Angler or take the Brutality. He's drawing a lightning bolt. So if I take the angler, one, two, three. Or if I take, let's just say I take brutality. There's four cards in there. He fetches the fifth. He can tap out and play angler and then delve his entire graveyard, which makes my tarmac life pretty puny. I guess I'm, I think I'm going to take the angler. <laughs> All right, we drew a bobble. So the thing is, if he takes my Terminate, we get Delirium. And then I can just Traverse for a Death Shadow. So it's not the end of the world. And he's going to Nug me. So he's got to take Terminate. Because he doesn't take Terminate, then his Flame White Phoenix doesn't come back. He's not doing anything. <clears throat> okay. Hey, Archmage. Yeah, he's going to hold off. I don't think he should hold off because he's got to bring back this Flame White Phoenix and he has to attack anyways. Because this puts me down to 11. I've got to go to 8. Next turn he puts me to 6. <coughs> yeah, I think he should attack. We're racing now. 
That was like a that was a very good drop. That puts me to eleven though. So I kind of have to fetch shock to not get my creature lightning bolted. Oh, that was stupid. I just showed him my draw because I have to fetch shock anyways. So I'm gonna get a stomping ground. I'm gonna have to find an answer to that. Uh, I'm gonna have to find an answer to that flame white phoenix. That was stupid though. I missed sequence here. I'm all over the place. So he'll probably hold his lands. I'm gonna block this hollow one if he attacks. Okay. Oh, he plays it. Okay. I thought you want to hold that for looting or something. I'm going to look at what our opponent's drawing. We don't have Blood Ghast. So the Blood Ghast off the top is actually lethal. So I can't attack. I better go block. Because if I attack, block here, take four, he bolts me. Unless I just like play a land and attack and see what he does. And that's that's a that's a pretty good one off the top. <laughs> No, wait. I actually can go get this Death Shadow. Next turn, he nugs me here. I can Inquisition him. And, oh, he's at 14. He's not at 12. All right, we got to pass, though. We're going to have to find a way to kill this Flame Wake Phoenix. How's it going there, Trey? Scalding Tarn, Blood Guest. Last card's Lightning Bolt. Um, that, oh, that actually gives me an out, right? Because now I can attack. Well, I can't attack, but I can at least kill this in combat. So it gives me another draw step, essentially. Thank you very much for the follow there, Trey. Well, it doesn't even because the lightning bolt then kills me. <clears throat> Basically, after I can push this. No, I can't. I can't push anything because this has four power. I think a two power. It's in the air. It's a three constant cast. I think I threw this game at some point. Let me see if he casts it. I would assume that he's going to cast it. Okay, yeah. Now I'm dead. Yep. If I had my lightning bolt, I'd be all set. Oh, thanks very much for the cheers. There. I don't know what. I gotta get rid of Nightbot. <coughs> yeah, Nightbot's terrible. Thank you very much, Trey. Appreciate it. Yeah, I think I tossed that game at some point. I could have played that game better. All right, so I want these two abrades. I want the pulse. And I think I want the stubs. Cards I don't really want. 
He can turn into a moon deck, but I still don't think I want a Rep Decay. And I can probably cut some number, and I can probably cut this, the, the, the whatever, the Grim Flare doesn't do very much, I don't think. Oh, that's your emote? A little Bulbasaur? That's cool. That's a pretty sweet emote. Um... Hang on. If you delay a Gurmag Angler, does it then come off? They can't cast it? Is there a chance they... Or do they, do they still have to cast? No, they still have to cast it. Never mind. Um... I want to bring in one more card. Nah, I probably don't need all. I don't, probably don't need all four stubborn denials. Though I'm on the play, I kind of want the denials. I'm gonna cut another. I'm gonna cut a push while I'm on the draw play. That I'll bring the. I'll cut some denials and bring in some push. This is my second match with it. First time I boarded it in, but yeah, we'll keep this. <coughs> That overgrown tomb. The abrade makes sense when I thought about it. Get that out of here. So next, if I draw fetch land, we're in good shape. Tilt. Um. This is a good hand. Um, I could just take this looting and then slow him down one more turn. Because I've got this hollow one covered, providing I draw a land. I kinda just wanna take this looting and then slow him down. Or I could just take the hollow one. I really don't want him to cast both ends of this. Because, like, next turn he can just cast the hollow one. Yeah, I'm going to take the looting. It's, like, not it's not super efficient, but it just kind of slows him down. Okay, so he drew a looting, which means here comes a hollow one. So he ditches, like, Bloodgast, Mountain, gets Bloodgast back. Okay, so that's one of the cards he drew. All right. My whole plan's been undone. All right, glad we got the BGH out of there. And again, it's worth it casting it there, even though it's likely to miss, because I'm going to take two damage from this Blood Gas no matter what. So I might as well just cast this now, because it's the, effectively the same thing as if I get to trade a card. Because I'm not blocked. Like, if he, if I don't play this, I play a 2-2, he just attacks with the Blood Gas. He doesn't attack with anything else. I need a land. What do we got here? <laughs> yeah, so I cut Liliana's from my deck. I gave, decided to give that a whirl. Alright, we got a pass here. Yeah, I got a uh, got it from the old card hoarder. Card hoarder sent out uh, water bottles to everybody within their uh, network. So I got me a water bottle. What is like? Is he just bricking? Oh, you're in the network too? Yeah, I'm actually using, uh, <coughs> I already got my deck kind of sleeved up here. I actually wouldn't mind if you cast that Burning Inquiry. Okay, so, I could be dead here if he finds a Lightning Bolt. Like, because I'm going to block, if he attacks with everything, I'm just going to block this Hollow One and take six. <coughs> And go to three. I need to find a removal spell. I can't even battle rage. This has been kind of a clunky draw. No, not going. I, I live out in uh I live out in Washington D.C. So that would be quite the haul for me. I 
I'm just gonna block hollow one. All right, now I'm not gonna block hollow one. Which basically means I'm dead. But, cause I can't, uh, unless I draw, I have to draw Battle Rage and, yeah, there's another hollow one, gas. All right, you got an angler coming. Yeah, I mean, this I just kind of clunked out this game. Last game was pretty good, but this game just kind of didn't really work out for me. Yep. He's got me. Yeah, it was just kind of like a clunk. Gross little clunk fest. I don't even think he had particularly good draws. Look at about three opens within driving distance. That's not bad. I live in Washington, D.C., so I get, like, all the Baltimore ones. So I get, I get usually, I get plenty a year. If I wanted to travel more, I could hit a couple more too. Like, Boston really isn't that far. I'm going to ship this hand. If this was a green land, then I would keep this. But it makes it like Traverse isn't a live draw. Yeah. All right, I'm going to keep this on six because we have a bunch of cantrips and a scry. I'll put this on top. <coughs> Are we playing against Storm? Scalding Time usually means Storm. That is usually what the old scary scalding time is. All right, that's a good draw. We have we have Voltron assembled. This is an insane hand against Storm. Sulfur Falls. Oh, so we're playing against like a Blue Moon deck. All right, we're playing against Through the Breach. I think I'm gonna take Remand and then I'm gonna take Blood Moon. I could take Seer and Visions and then just play around this Remand and hit the Moon. But if I don't hit a land and I take this Seer and Visions, then like I'm pretty dead if he hits a land. So I gotta take. I think I'm gonna take this Remand. All right, that's sweet. Doesn't really do us damage, but it prevents us from dying at least. I guess I should have bobbled there because I could have. That was stupid. I didn't time that right. I mean, I'm all over the place this this evening. I gotta remember to feed Philly after this match. So we went top top. So those are just lands, and he drew a land. Okay, so I know all five. And there's another land. Yeah. All right, that's not bad. So let's take the moon. So he's got lighthouse on top. Play this just in case our opponent has kept a blood moon. I would find it they're probably awkward for them to have one, but All right. Now we're just not respecting blood moon anymore. We're hoping we don't get lightning bolted. <coughs> don't bolt me, bro. Okay. All right. So one, two, three, four. So they're gonna—they have cryptic command up. All right. Well, at least my shadow's not gonna get lightning bolted. So they have to draw the through the breach. In order to get me, I probably just take this and then bounce the shadow at the end of the turn. It's kind of an anemic draw from me. Didn't really have a lot going on, but that'll happen on a mulligan. All right, yep, ditches that. You got it. Don't kill me. Lighthouse. All right, we're all dead. Sweet. <clears throat> we're flooding out a little bit, ladies and gentlemen. He's going to remand my shadow just to sift through some cards.
Don't kill me. Feel dead. Show me the goods. Yep. <coughs> He's got me. That was sad. That was just a sad state of events. I'm going to want all of these right here. Kind of the anti-combo uh, anti cards. Uh, I'm going to cut my terminates. Cut a couple pushes. Keep some in because I do bring in some creatures. So I'm going to leave some stuff in there. I think this, I don't know, this breach deck's like all right. The big thing about modern is like, the thing that's like at the there's always like pillars to the format and you can get something that's like the best deck in the format it's only like a little bit close better than like the 10th best deck in the format there's nothing that's like way far away better than everything else this hand's actually very good we're gonna bobble ourselves <coughs> and if the problem is if we bobble ourselves here we want to fetch we do have to get overgrown tomb with this in order to have our hand work but I think getting a scry is worth it. Thought seize. We do want a thought seize. We're just gonna take all of our opponent's cards. Jace the Mind Sculptor. All right. So I don't really have anything else going on besides that. Is there a reason to use Radiant Flames instead of Fire Spout? Yeah, you can cast it for one, which is nice. Sometimes you do that. There's not really any huge reason to do that, though. <coughs> We're trying to get the big beater down. The big old four five. Oh, I swear to God, if you drew a spell snare, I'm gonna freak out. I'm gonna lose my mind if you drew a spell snare. We have two. He drew it. He's going to opt. <coughs> okay, so that gives us Delirium, which is actually good. That's a good draw. So let's check out what... We're going to get Target Blood Moon. Snapcaster Mage. Oh shoot, I hate it when I do this. They have one more card and it's a land. I think I'm just gonna crack them for five, fetch a basic, and then play my Grim Flare. No, we don't have three red lands, we have two red lands. We got Stomping Ground and Blood Crypt. This mana base has felt nice. I think I'm actually gonna kill them before they can through the breach me, so I have to just worry about this Jace. Like this Jace is the problem. We are just kind of giving up on like any counter spells we draw, but we should actually be we should kill them before it's relevant. Because if I draw a land, I can traverse for another Tarmogoyf and then also hit their Jace. Okay, so that's what they drew. So one one other card's a land. I don't know what the land is. We have two red lands. Sometimes you can cast it for like two. That's what I mean. I'm gonna thought seize first just to see what I'm looking for. So what do they do with this? They went bottom bottom. So we're just gonna take this Jace. Did I bring in the Rampager? No, I didn't. Tilt. Okay, they just concede. I mean, they could have drawn a cryptic and then kind of been in it. But I didn't see any creatures, so I don't think I want to board in any more, any more like stuff. Any more creature removal? I wonder if this Maelstrom Pulse is worth it. And if it was going to be worth it, I'd have to cut this or this. I'm going to cut this. Maelstrom Pulse hits Jace. 
hits Blood Moon after I've if I've fetched it smartly. Sounds very good. Keep this. Likely a hand that we are not going to play around Blood Moon with, though. If we draw a land here, maybe. So is this a hand where we say like to hell with Blood Moon? We can counter the moon, <coughs> but then we can't cast Tarmogoyf. Yeah, let's just not lose to Blood Moon. I feel like that's one of the only ways that I lose this matchup is they just cheese me out of the game with a moon. All right, so they just don't have anything. I'm gonna take the Snapcaster Mage. Could have shot the tilt. Uh, they put a card on top. It's probably like a reman, and I'm just gonna like ram this Tarmogoy face first in this thing and just vomit. Wow, that's a, that's a very nice draw. That means that even if they go like worst case scenario, reman into Blood Moon, that I can still cast Tarmogoy. I'm losing all my counter spells. God, he did it. What a, what a shitter. <clears throat> All right, nice, there's an opt. We like that. This also means that we get to push this Tarmogoy through a remand. And now we got counter spells up, so we're gonna be able to just hide right behind this big old, big old beefy four or five here. Yeah, you got it, dude. So I know he's got six cards, three of them are lands. They went top, bottom, and then tap Steam Vents, which I knew about. That's not a foil Steam Vents, though, so he still has a Steam Vents in his hand. Cast this first. Cryptic Command. So he kept the card on top, so we'll have to see what it is. I would assume we're going to see it soon, okay. The Lighthouse is going to like make us actually have to start playing Magic. Cycle this. Bobble grows Goyf, which is kind of cool. So let's see what they're going to Lighthouse into. They've just got another land, so they're probably going to discard that. Um, no, I should I should, I want to use my mana and brutality then. I should have done this beforehand. Again, we're playing a little quickly here tonight. I think mostly because I'm pretty set on this list and I like it. So they just have shit, okay. <coughs> so they'd have to go like through the breach into Dispel in order to really get me. Okay, so they're lighthousing into this Misty, which I know about. Yeah, so they ditch Steam Vents, so they keep the Misty. So they actually don't have a draw that kills me here, I don't think. Unless this right here is the Through the Breach. All right, they were just fetching. Now I can actually traverse for another blue land, which probably kind of locks them out, and now we're good. <coughs> I think that locks my opponent out of the game. I agree. I like when I forget to crack it. Happens to the best of us. So now I'm just going to get Watery Grave, play this Death Shadow, have two blockers up, have two, have two lethal creatures going on. I guess the Shadow's not lethal. The Shadow will be lethal, though, with a Traverse. If they counter this, I'm just going to let it go. The lighthousing, okay. They did a scalding turn, okay. 
My opponent's actually had kind of a horrendous draw here, if we're going to be completely transparent. <clears throat> Loot, scoot, and booty. That probably ends it, because again... Again, even if they flash in a Snapcaster Mage, either of these is game over. Discard Mountain, play Sulphur Falls. here okay Delay this. Doesn't matter. All right. Again, that's a pretty solid matchup, I think. So, so I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out today. My name is Dylan Hovey. You guys are here on my stream. I'm a part of the Card Hoarder Network. If you guys have anything going on with Magic Online related stuff, you should check out Card Hoarder. They're the best bot chain in the business. You should also check out Gamer Craze, which is a store I learned to play Magic. It's a store that's involved with a lot of really good charity stuff. Their Crystal Commerce is linked below. They buy and sell uh, cards at a real competitive price because they foster like a college environment. Um, and you can always find all of my replays on my YouTube channel, which is linked below. If you really want to like support me without paying anything, the best way to do it is just go subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's free and it's the best way to get me up there and get me monetized. And also interact with me on Twitter. I love just chatting magic about Twitter. You know, that's that's my one of my pastimes is arguing on Twitter about magic with people. So now we're back. Let's pull the deck list up. Let's hope I can pull my head out of my ass. I'm playing kind of like a moron. I wonder if I can cut a land if I only have this many two drops. I probably can cut lands when I'm sideboarding. Be a little more aggressive there. <coughs> All right, my opponent's tanking. Oh, I think my opponent plays burn. So my opponent is playing burn. His hand's absolutely gas if I draw a threat. I think this is better than a random six. <clears throat> Nope, playing as humans. Seems kind of a mulligan as humans. But it's got my best card, which is um, this team or battle rage. This other traverse is a mulligan, but at least it's, I can use it to fuel the other traverse. This hand's not very good against humans. My opponent lands a Thalia here. I'm kind of in a little bit of trouble. <clears throat> One of the most infuriating cards ever is Thalia. Okay, we're just gonna kill this. I'm not even gonna get blue. Blood crypt. I might just abrupt decay this also on my turn. Hello. 
I kind of want to hit this just to make it so there's no instant speed reflector mages. I might be greedy, but if my opponent lands a Mantis Rider, then I get Death Shadow down next turn. Which is the card that I'm really worried about out of this deck. This is a little aggressive, but I think if we can kill this Vile, then we can slow them down a turn. <clears throat> Philber. Phil, you want to say hi to the chat? Come on up here, buddy. Come here. Come here, pal. Come on up. Oh. So right here is the cutest dog of magic. Cutest dog of magic with a big yawn. <clears throat> I hate that my opponent's double queuing. What do you think about double queuing? Oh, you are tired. You're gonna eat my face. You're gonna eat my face. Don't eat my face. If you eat my face while I'm streaming, Philly, there's a, so there's too many witnesses. What do you think, bud? Dad, I think you should feed me. That's all I want. All I want, Dad, is for you to feed me. <coughs> and this is aggressive, but. It's gonna, this means I can get Shadow down next turn. Okay, so there's the bobble. All right, won't you now, bud? So I'm actually just gonna traverse here for a basic swamp and then play Shadow. That right there is the cutest dog in the world. All of bits and stream money. Are donated to keep to the stream or put forward to keep Philly's belly hungry. <coughs> Keeping belly, Philly's belly full, excuse me. Philber. Philber. I love Philver so much. Thought I must have some interesting decisions here. So happy to see a stream with a dog instead of a cat. I need more. Get him a treat. All right. Philly, you get a treat. You get a treat. Somebody donated some cheers. Nope, nope. Right here, buddy. Come here, Phil. All right. Let me see if everybody can see. See our old, our boy, old boy, Philby. Watch out, chat. We're going for a ride. Okay. Phil? Philly boy. Hey. Sit. Nope. Sit, Phil. Good boy. Good boy. There he goes. Watch out. We're going for another ride. All right. So we're just going to take this hit back to magic. All right. Grim Flare is not bad. So I can actually just go like this. See what my opponent's drawing. <clears throat> Casting Malcontent, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna play Grim Flare. And if they reflect their mage here, I block. I'm not, I'm not really beating a reflector mage, right? Yeah, we're not beating a Reflector Mage. So I think I'm actually just going to get in, block, take, <coughs> four, they attack here, chump block this, I take four. Yeah, we're just going to attack with this, look to kill them with a Battle Rage next turn.
Billy, what do you say? Do you say thank you for that treat? Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Twitch screen. Twitch, Twitch. I don't really know what Twitch is, but I like it. I like it a lot. That's good, Phil. So if my opponent attacks me here before combat, I still have to block because then all of these humans, the four from the Noble Hierarch, are, are lethal. And if my opponent just like doesn't do anything, or they just attack, then I can pass. Oh, here comes the Malcontent. Mage Strider. I don't really think my opponent can attack because if they attack, <clears throat> they're just going to get battle rage out of the game because I'll just attack with both of my creatures. Yeah, they can't. Uh, they, they can't attack. Whether they figure that out or not is the next game. One, two, three. Block here, Malcontent does five to me. I could also just decay this Noble Hierarch. That seems a little greedy. So I could abrupt decay, I could attack. <clears throat> I can start off by just attacking with both of my creatures. And then this abrupt decay kind of hamstrings my opponent. Because this is 10, this is 14. So they don't really have, they aren't really forced to block. <clears throat> if I just attack with this, yeah, I think I just have to pass. And then, like, wait for my opponent to commit to an attack and then erupt decay something. Uh, Schultz cute if you're still in the chat here. This is I have the best emote on Twitch That's the old Philly boy playing some magic So let's see how our opponent attacks Okay, so that's four so you're not kill. so I have to kill this I'm fairly confident if I draw fetch land, my opponent's dead. Unless this is a reflective rage, which just looks like a reflective rage. Okay. That's like beatable. Cards battle rage, good call. They image, okay. What do they call here? Phantasmal image. What do they name? Fatal Blush, okay. So the last card's Malcontent. So one, two, three, four, block, block, block. Take two, go to six. So block here, block here. Block here, take two, but it's after combat. But they just do it before combat, and then they, they like mess me up here. I'm fairly certain I'm dead. But we're gonna we're gonna make our opponent do it. Kind of an unfortunate, like we drew two stubborn denials, which are duds. <clears throat> which kind of suck, but 
What are you gonna do? I think this guy's like kind of high on the leaderboard. Maybe not. Good six. <coughs> you just malcontent. You just malcontent then attack. Then I'm dead. At least I think. But look like they're just crossing there, or they're just checking to make sure. And who knows, maybe they're like a really good player and they're confused. They're like, why is he doing this? But like, I believe I'm dead on board to the information, especially to the information that I know. <clears throat> it's like they don't have any way to fetch their library or to shuffle their library. So they drew this malcontent for sure. <coughs> Yep, they malcontent before combat. And then come on in with the morons. Yep. Okay. So here I want my brutalities, my abrades. I want some number of all 10 of these cards. Cards I know that I don't want. I don't want Stubborn Denial. I don't like Inquisition of Kozilek. I don't really like Grim Flare. I know I'm definitely into this. I want to keep all my removal, keep in my thought seasons, keep in my street rates. I think I'm just going to go like this and not bring in the collective brutalities. Which makes my deck a little awkward, but I think this is what we're going to do. I like taking away the Inquisitions but keeping the thought seasons because I want to be able to do myself a critical mass of damage in order to make sure that like my battle rage is turned on. Like I wasn't low enough to be able to kill my opponent with a battle rage. <coughs> I think I lost this guy in a modern challenge a couple, like a month ago. I'm pretty sure. He played a pretty tight three game set. So I would rather have removal spells that hit the board, the deal with the board, um, risk it for biscuit. Like I want, I want a braid. I want because like if we get into this game with the Inquisitions of Tough Top Deck, the reason that I want Thought Seize is because it deals damage to me. Like I'd rather have Radiant Flames, Maelstrom Pulse. <clears throat> a, you know, I'd rather have Radiant Flames, Maelstrom Pulse, Obey, Lily on the Last Hope, than my discard spells. What's up, Phil? Dead, feed me. All right, Phil, I'm gonna give you some food after this after this game after this match. Then I'm gonna take you out. The dad's gonna play another league. Philly went on a big walk today, so Philly should just crash after he eats. I would like to play first. Uh, hands almost good. This hand's like not very good.
Phil boy. Philly boy. <clears throat> I'd like to see a bobble here so that I just have delirium. It's awkward. This forest makes us terminate awkward. All right, there's our card. Hopefully my opponent plays like a Noble Hierarch. Noble Hierarch. If they play an Aether Vial, I'm just going to blow the Aether Vial up on my next turn. Noble Hierarch, gas. Blood Crypt hit this. And the best draw off the top here is like a Tarmogoyf. Well, Bobble's not bad. Bobble gives us Delirium. <coughs> Opponent's drawing a land. We're drawing an uncastable card. I should have done that. I did that wrong. All right, so we're going to hit this Freebooter on the stack. Right, for this reason, I should have done it in my opponent's upkeep so that they didn't get to see this terminate. That was a mistake. Yeah, that was that was a mistake on my part. So now my opponent deals any damage to me, we get to get our get our homeboy in the play. We got a battle rage to suit up with our homeboy, so Bob, that's bad. This Bob's gonna bury us now. They have a reflector rage too. Yeah, this game is over. We're good. Between the Bob, yeah, we're dead. Two unfortunate draws. Well, not the first game was a good game. That was an unfortunate draw there. I'm gonna put my deck list up here. I'm gonna go feed my dog before the fifth round, and then I'm gonna take him out in between rounds. So I'll be right back. You want some food, Phil? Good dad. All right, well, let's jump into here, get the last match of the league. Have we played against any deck so far with the Liliana's? What did we get? We played against Hollow One, we played against Humans, we played against Ponza. And what else we played against? Um, I can't remember the other deck we played against. We played against Through the Breach. Through the Breach is a great Liliana matchup. Because if you just play Liliana, you get Blood Moon. Yeah, we're going to keep this. And it could be better, but on the on the play, it's not too bad. So we're going to check our top card. We don't want Grim Flare. <clears throat> we're going to get Overgrown Tomb. Cycle this. Well, I'm definitely going to Inquisition my opponent now. Collected Company. That is no bueno. That is Elves. Okay. None of this matters. Is Heritage Druids the worst one? So let's take Land of War Elves. And then I'll decay the Elves. They had a Blood Raid Elf in their hand. I missed that. <laughs> All right, we need a basic land. 
Give me a land here off the top. Okay, gas. <coughs> it's actually a pretty good draw as well. As it um as it's an answer to this collective company. This blood right out is gonna be annoying now. Okay, here comes Nettle Sentinel Heritage Druid, more than likely. So we got their mana under control for the time being. Okay, there's a the Heritage Druid. All right, that's a pretty good draw. So I can go Tarmogoy Shadow, hope they miss. But they'd have to miss on an elf that costs one mana. The problem is they just cast Bloodbraid Elf if they don't cast Collect the Company. So I think I'm just gonna play both of my dudes. Cause we, we can't beat either of these, like we can't beat both of these cards. So I might as well put myself in the best position to like, to beat down here. And if they decide to go Bloodbraid Elf, then I can stub the Collected Company. But they might, who knows, they might just not have a two mana, a one mana Elf also. Dwayne's Elite. Alright, Dwayne's Elite's actually like kind of beatable. No, no, that's not, because this, God, they had a land too. Tilt. Please pass the turn. 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 Use your instant speed card at instant speed, opponent. The card's an instant. Don't do it on your turn. Shoot. Fat fingered that. Opponent's thinking about it. My opponent is definitely in the tank. They're gonna do it right now. Tilt. I think this is the right play from our opponent. For what it's worth. <clears throat> it makes it so it guaranteed to resolve and it gives you the option to like keep going here. <clears throat> I guess they can't keep going because the last card in hand costs red. They had to tap their red land in order to do it. So I guess they are they are out of options. Billy! Yeah, you. Alright, so I need to draw Teamer Battle Rage off the top. And I still don't even know if that does enough because of the regeneration here. Yeah, you just, we're dead. Block, 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 take a million. <coughs> okay. We've been getting worked tonight. Feels. Okay, so I want these here. I want these as well. We're going to cut... Cut some of our traverses. Cut some of the Inquisitions. I don't like Inquisition a lot in this matchup. I kind of want... I don't like Discard Spell as much as I like Removal in matchups like in these creature matchups. Um, Grim Flare is better than Tarmogoyf. I want this Rampage or two. I think we're just going to cut these... <coughs> I think our plan is just going to be to interact on the board and not worry about counter spells. We don't need many creatures. We really just need the best way to win this matchup is like Death Shadow, Battle Rage. So 
the tarmogoyfs just aren't super necessary. I usually only like shaving one, but because of how my, like, my draws, my sideboard here is set up, <coughs> this hand's very good. So we're gonna get Watery Grave, or no, a Blood Crypt, excuse me. I'm going to take the Dwayne's Elite. I'm more than likely going to Brutality this um, Llanowar Elves this turn. <coughs> We're drawing a stomping ground. Well, now I'm going to go, I'm going to do this just to make sure that I have Delirium. The brutality gets around some dumb like regeneration things. Okay. Double Death Shadow is good. So the only card I don't know is the card they drew last turn. That's not a bad draw because that lets me get rid of this shaman. <coughs> yeah, we're just going to hopefully slog through this Blood Red Elf. So my opponent can only attack with one. If they attack with both, then I'll just block and eat one of them. Maybe they won't know how Death Shadow works. Uh, so they, they hit the land too. What a tilt. <clears throat> Alright, so Goyf's going to kind of solidify my battlefield presence. But they're going to be able to Blood Braid Elf. I'm surprised they didn't play Stomping Ground tapped. Like, you're just taking two damage for no reason here. Yeah. Seems like poor sequencing. Alright, so hit a Heritage Druid. So hope, let's hope they don't have anything else to put on the battlefield here. This heritage drew is just annoying. Nope, they have a land. What could their last card be? I have no idea what that last card could be. It could be like a Shaman of the pack, I guess. And if that's the case, I guess I should just hit this Bloodbraid Elf. Just to like game, preserve my life total. I wanna draw a land and then I wanna draw a Death Shadow. Or I wanna draw a land and then I wanna draw a Traverse. So I just want to traverse for a gore clan rampager and kill my opponent. <coughs> All right, Elvish Mystic. Man, this uh, Blood Braid Elf engine is pretty good. Hey, Phil, no. Don't eat my sunglasses. We're going out after this. Don't you worry about it, bud. A land for this last hope would also be very good. We have a lot of decent draws here. So if I draw a land, I'm more than likely just going Brutality 
into Death Shadow. <clears throat> Block. No. I'll leave back this Death Shadow, I think. <coughs> no, I'm going to put the pressure on. Because, like, even if I go Fetch Shock, I'm at 8. Brutality here, block here, take 2, 4. Could die to a Shaman of the Pack, I guess. Or if there's some, like, end of turn chord shenanigans here. <coughs> there are many things that I died to here, but I think I'm far enough behind where I'm going to force it. This is good. So now I'm just going to fetch. Well, I'm still going to go fetch shock. We're going to get low enough here. Looks like we have a court of calling incoming. My opponent's holding priority. I guess not. So now I'm going to hit this Heritage Druid. <laughs> Actually, I'm not going to hit the Heritage Druid. I'm going to hit, we're going to make our opponent think about the counter spell. I'm going to hit this Nettle Sentinel. And then play another Shadow. Then play the Liliana and pick off the Heritage Druid next turn. That is the game plan. Schultz Cube, thank you very much. I appreciate that very much. Philly, we got a subscriber. Man, what a hit. What a hit here from the OP. Very much appreciated there. Let's open up a treasure chest for our new subscriber. Oh, these online packs too? Sweet. Let's open one up here. Crypt Rats, Kari Zev, and we'll get one more. All right, what else do we get? Dragon Skull Summit, Liliana, nice. And then just for you, we'll open up our Magic Online packs that have nothing. News Constrictor, Renegade Rally, or Signal Pest. I need to get rid of Nightbot. How do I make Nightbot and not a mod of my channel anymore? <laughs> Nightbot has been <laughs> timed out by... <laughs> Oh, you got timed out again? What is that? I gotta get rid of Nightbot. Nightbot's, Nightbot's fake news. So what happened to my graveyard? Oh, they, they got a relic. Gross. So now how do I not die? So the yes chump block, <laughs> hit this with the uptick, hold my Tarmogoyf back. <coughs> How do I, how do you unban somebody? No. You should be good now. 
Unless I already messed this up. My fault there. So we're going to send in with both of these. Opponent's got to chump block one of them. We're not going to fetch. And then I'm going to tick up on this Heritage Druid. They're still going to have like a million mana here. I know. I got to get rid of Nightbot. Nightbot's been kind of like a problem in my chat recently. <coughs> it's just like I get people that get excited about the emote and they go nuts with the emote. Then Nightbot's like not good. Problem is I use Nightbot for um I use Nightbot for music, so I don't necessarily want to like <coughs> get rid of him. But there is there must be a way that I can turn off the um I can turn off the whatever it is. The stop spamming command, song request, spam protection. Excess caps enabled. Excess emotes, excess symbols. All right, everything's enabled. It should be all set now. Yo, does that kill me? What's going to happen here? Four. Jeez. This has been a good set of hits from our opponent here. I've not even been paying to this game. I've been trying to fix my stream. That just like kills me on the spot, right? Well, not necessarily, right? Well, he goes one, two, three. One, two, I got a one block. Just block this, I don't die. So I can still rep Teamer Battle Rage. Or Gore Clan Rampager and probably kill my opponent. <clears throat> All right. One time. Gore Clan Rampager. Tough night. Tough night at work here. All right, I am going to 